cover today is the application of the biofeedback in order to improve the scapular control. After surgery uh, for cancer, sometimes they take out the sternocleidoid mastoid muscle that gives you support from the front of your shoulder. So these muscles here get very weak. So we're going to use biofeedback on Dan today. Okay, Dan, go ahead and... So the biofeedback just tells Dan when he's getting a good contraction. Keep doing that, Dan. Getting a good contraction of those muscles. Perfect. Good. And then the next one I want you to do is keeping your arm and then just going out. Good. And then go to the front. This one in the back, really. Yeah. And then sit up real straight. And then hold this arm here and try to get that muscle to come in. And let's hear it. There we go. And hold it. Good. And hold it. Good. And now, what I'm going to have you do this time is I'm going to resist you coming back this way. There we go. Good. And again. Good. And again. Good. And one more. Good. Now, okay, pull that in, pull, there you go, good, and now let the arm bend, and now go up, good, and let it go down, and up, there, that's better, because I don't want that to come on, I want these to come on, so hear that buzz, 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 pull back, there you go, yeah, that's it, and good, and one more. Pull back, there, and up. Biofeedback for strength and conditioning is just one of the tools we use in a comprehensive rehabilitation program for head and neck cancer patients. For more information about our oncology rehabilitation program, please visit us online at progressivept.com.